They said we wouldn't do it. They said we couldn't do it. The haters are devastated. <laughs> they dared us. They said, I defy you to do an episode about just the All-Star Weekend and only the All-Star Weekend. You can't do it. There's not enough information. I challenge you. And they were wrong. Now it was serious. A double dog dare. What else was left but a triple dare you? And finally, the coup de grace of all dares, the sinister the triple, triple dog, dog dare. dare. I triple dog dare you! That was the haters. That was the haters in my comments. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, you're not watching Meghan Markle and Oprah? There are more important things going on than the All-Star Game. No, there's not when you have an NBA podcast. No, there's not. This was the deal. This is the first annual All-NBA, All-Star episode of this league. And I feel like Rocky going up the steps, Marty. The Philly fans will love me as Rocky. You know, I'm up the steps. This is us, Marty. Let's go. Taking over Philadelphia, like cleaning it up. Let's go. (laughs) And like all good All Star weekends, we had Adrian Borjanowski hit us with the fucking nuclear woge bomb dropping. (laughs) Can you tell I was delirious last night? A little bit, a little bit. What what, what was the news? Uh, Blake Griffin to the Brooklyn Nets. Say it again. Say it with some verve. Say it with some dramatic, slow and deep like I like it, Marty. It was Blake Griffin to the Brooklyn Nets. That's right. Scoop City, Trista Crick, NBA insider, coming for the others. Coming for the Sham Sharanyas. Coming for the Wojnowskis. Yes, I am. My sources, they told me my sources were wrong. And now all of a sudden it's like, there were no other places to go but Brooklyn. (laughs) Lies. Lies. The haters just want to discredit me. My sources are solid as a rock. I don't have many. I don't have many sources. I'm not plugged in like they are. But when I have them, goddamn Tillman Fertitta, Harden was going to be a sixer. (laughs) Scoop City, Population One, T. Crick. I tell you what, I was right. I love to be right. And yet, for some reason, it doesn't matter how right I am, everybody has to discredit it. So, anyway, here we go. We're going to talk about the All-Star Game. Marty, did you enjoy All-Star Weekend? I actually did. Quote, as, quote, weekend. As much as I thought, as much as I like wasn't thinking about it all day, I actually really enjoyed watching it. Yeah, I thought... Uh, It was better than I was expecting it to be. Why? Because it was all in one day. Yeah, 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 I guess, yeah. I don't think we should ever go back to the quote-unquote weekend. Players don't want it. I don't know that fans want it. I'm actually okay with that, yeah, because I usually just watch uh, All-Star Saturday and then kind of like snooze through the game, not really caring that much, but it actually was kind of fun. Imagine like 2 p.m., Rising Stars. A little quick break, maybe some documentary action, some, some fluff piece. By the way... By the way, ESPN did a Rudy Gobert. Um, we'll call it like a we'll call it like a PR stunt called Inside the Big Man or Inside the Center. All about like how Rudy Gobert didn't mean to make fun of COVID. Oh, it was like a sob story. On it was yeah. like you know everyone thought Rudy was just joking around and being Rudy. And it's like his brother's on it and some random Utah jazz reporter's on it. This is what they played before All-Star Weekend was like, let's find a way to make Rudy Gobert more likable. Uh, First thing I want to talk about, of course, is the news that came down pre-All-Star. Ben Simmons, Mr. Balloon Hands, and Joel Embiid, who turned his Twitter into Trollwell Embiid, which is amazing. (laughs) Could not make the All-Star game, could not play in the All-Star game because they had a close contact with a barber Yep. who tested positive for COVID, right? Everyone is saying, we don't want to play in this All-Star game. This is dumb. We're in a pandemic. We're not trying to get COVID. 
And you got Mr. Balloon Hands out here being like, I'm about to be on national TV in front of 100 million people. Yo, Joel, what up? Yo, let's go get a lineup. <laughs> let's get a lineup. And you know TK's coming through. Guillotining fools for that. <laughs> Come on. Everybody's like, oh, I mean, that's not such a bad. Stick, stick, stick. That's me. Accountability partner time. You cannot go with Joel Embiid. If you're going to go get your haircut, first of all, let me say this. These guys make millions of dollars. They don't have a personal barber that can come over to them? I would. You don't have someone who tests negative regularly? Can't you get the little swab, 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 PCR, quick, rapid test, then get lined up? No. You have to go to, like, a random corner barber? I don't know the details, but I know it's not on the up and up. So irresponsible. The Chiefs almost missed 20 guys out of the Super Bowl because of this exact same thing. Oh, it's just... Wait, same guy or just same? Just okay, the same okay. situation. Right, that would have been nuts. All right. That would have been, yeah. yeah, this is yeah. just like the COVID barber. <laughs> this is the COVID barber. Well, I mean, what are we doing, Ben Simmons? Like, you had to know this was a bad idea. You had to know. You guys couldn't have gone to separate barbers? Like, couldn't? <laughs> Damian Lillard said it best when he's like, I haven't had a haircut in a while. I haven't gotten a barber, gone to a barber shop in forever. And in fact, I'm going to leave home right after this All-Star game. I'm not sticking around. I don't want to mess around with getting COVID. I've got a couple of babies at home. And instead, what you have is Joel Embiid, who apparently also has a baby at home. I tweeted about this. Because remember, Joel Embiid, we talked about this last episode. He was like, feeling good, headed into All-Star break. And underneath the tweet was his video of him getting Donovan Mitchell ejected. Mm -hmm. Getting him teed up, trolling him, Troel Embiid, right? Right. How you feeling now, Joel Embiid? <laughs> How are you feeling now? You and Ben Simmons missing the next three games because you guys are fucking idiots. And instead of what happened, right, instead of me being the voice of reason and accountability, telling the truth on Twitter and also poking a little fun, everybody's like, These, you're joking about a infectious disease how dare you this man has a baby at home how dare if you have a baby at home i didn't tell you to go get a haircut did i did i i mean yeah <laughs> did i tell them to go and risk their their livelihoods to risk their health to risk the health and safety of the entire league because all of the superstars are going to be in one place and they decided that that was when they needed to get a haircut did, did me trista crick tell them to do that marty you did not you did not tell them that. i did not but what i did was how you feeling now headed at an all-star break <laughs> you're gonna miss the next three games you'll probably drop all three because your two stars had to get a fresh lineup. Wow. LeBron James said it best. He said, I'm not a COVID go ghostbuster. I just am really careful. Yeah. Were these, I don't understand. I don't understand. And, of course, another uh, little news story. The NBA had to send out roughly 200 cease and desist letters to promoters in Atlanta for using the NBA logo to promote in-person parties <laughs> <laughs> during All-Star Weekend. That sounds so right. You knew that was going to happen, oh, yeah. but oh, yeah. if you're going to do it, if you're going to be an, a pro club promoter in Atlanta promoting exactly what the NBA has told you not to do, maybe don't use their logo. Maybe just say... But at the same time, if you don't, not really doing your job. You don't think so? <laughs> I mean, I, I just know how these people operate. <laughs> it's, it doesn't surprise me, I guess, is my point. All of this to say, Philly fans, don't come at me. Don't come at me for your two stars being idiots. Why is me, why is it my fault that your two marquee players can't get their shit together before an all-star game? It's not. Here we are, though, an all-star game that nobody wanted, now probably going to cost teams games. I mean, the Sixers might even lose out on the number one spot in the East because of this little shenanigan. And you know what I would have to say is you hate to see that. You hate to see that. <laughs> it would be such a shame if the Brooklyn Nets had the number one seed and, and 
the Sixers had the number two seed because of a haircut. That would be a very expensive haircut. If it was like two games or so difference. <laughs> and they had to catch like someone like the Miami Heat coming back from a finals appearance. <laughs> Jimmy Butler finally healthy. It would be a shame if that's what got them bounced out of the first round. A haircut. And you know I will be coming all along the way laughing my ass off about that fade that cost you potentially a title. But that's okay. One costly haircut. By the way, that tweet that I put out, over 250 quote tweets, over 275 comments, um, and 50 likes. So, <laughs> <laughs> Yeesh. <laughs> oh, my God. How do you get – I call them – oh, so I have a name for them. Okay. These new Ben Simmons fans, mm-hmm. the, the crazy ones. I call them the balloonatics. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the balloonatics. The balloonatics came from my head. So, yeah, I, uh, I'm i not making fun of people with COVID. I am making fun of the people who do not seem to understand how serious COVID is. And, yeah, it's balloony tunes. It's just the whole thing <laughs> is just balloony tunes. Thanks for listening and watching this league on YouTube. If you like this content, please hit the subscribe button right here. More content will come your way straight to your feed. Thanks for watching.